To write the formula for iron 3 iodide, we'll look up iron on the periodic table. It has an element symbol of Fe. And then iodide, we're looking for the iodine atom. That symbol is I. So we have a metal here with the iron, the iodide, that's a nonmetal. So a metal and a nonmetal, that gives us an ionic compound. And we need to take the charges on each of these elements here in account when we write the formula. So iron's nice, it's a transition metal, and it tells us right here, this Roman numeral three, that tells us we have a three plus ionic charge. Iodine, we can look up on the periodic table, it has a one minus. So these charges, they don't add up to zero. So we need to change the subscripts to make that happen, to give us a net charge of zero. We can use something called the crisscross method to make that happen. We can move the one down here and the three over here. We don't write the one by convention and we can get rid of these here and that's it. That's the formula for iron three iodide. Let's check our work, make sure we got that right. Iron, because of the Roman numerals we said was three plus and we look the iodide up, that's one minus. So I have three of these, three times one, that's three minus one iron, that's three plus. So three plus, three minus, that adds up to zero. This is the correct formula for iron three iodide. Let's clean it up. And that's it, the formula for iron three iodide, Fe I3. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.